all right so um this is just going to be a continuation video on render settings in d5 render so in the last video we covered the daylight setting okay and in this video we're now going to cover the evening or ambient setting so it's always nice if you can offer clients daytime you should also be able to offer them some nice evening on ambient scene so mind you that this model i've completed the composition if you want to learn composition you can check out one of my d5 full courses but in this video we're just going to be focusing on the setting so if you have if you have gone through those videos i did on compositions those are my full course videos you are going to see that i create a separate layer for light okay so you can check more on that creating a separate layer for light in a nutshell means is basically creating a layer of existence where only the lights will be placed under for instance if you click on any if i click on any of these lights you are going to see that the layer is placed under here is lighting layer okay but if i click on something like this vehicle here you see it's under still the default layer so i can turn off or turn on this light however i want and you can see that if you look at most of these groups let me just exit this view okay let me just click on p and exit this view you are going to notice that most of these components come with light most of these components i group them with light like let's say look at this now for instance you can see it's a group if you click on this job then you can see the light under lighting layer and the floor lamp under default layer so this gives a lot of control but i'm sure you'll see a lot of more practical explanation in my full course so i'll drop the link in the description below so make sure you check that out okay so now that is out of the way we're going to go back to our view and we're going to create a new ambient scene so the first thing to do is you can also if you want to create this scenery see the, the settings i did for this daylight scenery you can check out the video i am um, i completed the step-by-step -step process in creating the daytime effect so let's now create the evening scene so the first thing we're going to do is just to click on this add new scene so it's going to duplicate this scene by add another one okay so after we have done that we are first going to go over to this layer and turn on this layer so once this layer is turned on we have had um we have completed this to some extent then we're not going to go to this environment then instead of custom we're going to change it to hdri then after doing this we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to be using morning okay i think we're using early morning so this early morning hdri is very nice for ambient views so we're going to go to the exposure this exposure in ambient views i won't want to touch it too much i think these settings we are carrying over from the daytime view is still okay so we're going to go to this environment this way we're going to do a lot of work then we're going to click on this two icon here to bring out the background and the skylight then we're going to start tweaking it so we're going to reduce the background very well up to 0 0.30 then we're now going to reduce the skylight a bit up to 0 0.2 0.22 or 0.23 just once it's okay like this so after doing this i think we can increase this background to about 0.5 or 0.4 okay so after doing this now we are now going to turn on this sunlight so we're going to turn on this sunlight temporarily the reason why we're turning this sunlight on is just a temporal means so we are going to going to use it to kind of gauge where our sun position is going to be so in ambient scenes it's always good to have one side of the ambient scene um, brighter than one side darker okay so depending on the view you can make it this side of the image lighter than this side of the image darker based on the um, sky settings so we are going to rotate this and see what we can do with it so looking at this i think i'm going to change it back to 0 0.03 i feel this skylight is too dark then i think this is good so i'm going to turn off this skylight now then i'm now going to go over to effect and i'm going to tweak this exposure just a bit increase it just a bit by to 0 0.1 then after increasing this exposure i'm now going to go over to bloom and increase the bloom amount to 0 0.3 0 0.32 basically okay then i'm going to go back to this environment i feel that there is not enough light on this building so we're going to kind of rotate it till we see the light hitting on the building so i think once it gets to this point you are going to see the gradual um, light effect on this building then we're now going to go to effect since this is an evening scene i think we're now going to reduce the exposure to somewhere around here 
okay so once it's zero, minus 0 0.15 we're now going to hover around this and we're going to click on update scene so once we do this now we're now going to click on this image icon to render as usual we can always go back and forth in the rendering if we don't get the desired effect so what we can do for this view before we render is i just noticed that there's no light ascent light in this background then what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this bollard light here and i'm going to hold shift and duplicate it just behind this flower here so the reason why is i want the light to be hitting from the background so if you go back to this view you are going to see what it does okay this is too close so i'm just going to push it backwards up to here i think this is fine then go back to the view so you can see it kind of creates a little light here so we're going to click on this and we're now going to put the size of the image so we're just quickly going to click on render and then we're just going to call this scene 1b and we're going to update this and just click on save okay so now the render is ready we're just going to click on this open folder then we're going to check out how it looks so it's always fine that if you re create do a render you can always look at the weaknesses of that render and kind of go back and forth so personally i like this view like this but i'm feeling it's too bright for an evening render okay so we're going to update it so the first thing i'm going to try and locate is where the brightness is coming from so personally i'm okay with this background so my issue is now with the kind of the light on the building so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to go to this environment then i'm going to drop down this skylight again up to i think 1.7 um so after i drop this i'm going to make sure i update this then after doing this i'm going to turn on this of this image first then i'm going to click on this particular bullard light click on this drop down click on this light here on the group then i'm going to try and increase the intensity here to about 50 okay somewhere there off then i'm going to go back to this view so you can see that the effect have changed drastically so i'm going to go here and reduce this again up to minus 0 0.16 sorry then i'm just going to update this now so now i've done this i'm going to click on this image now and i'm going to try and render so i think um, I could adjust the position of this, rotate the HDRI a bit. So I think I'm going to go with this. So the bright side is going to come from this background. So it's going to be like kind of an ascent, just kind of a background brightness. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to update this quickly. Then I'm just going to click on render. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to render this as an option C. And just compare the two of them to see which is better all right so i think the render is ready so i'm just going to open the folder and um, i think this um the thing will come out nice so if you open this option c i think this came out nice this is a nice ambient view in contrast to this this one is too bright and i think this is much better and i think this is nice okay so i think this brings us to the end of the video so i think this is a nice um startup way to get your ambient scenes in d5 render as quickly as possible so the hdri is the default hdri so you see it you don't need to go to any hdri website to get it okay so i think that is all for the video so if you find this video helpful make sure you reward us by hitting the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this don't forget to also hit the notification bell so you get notified when we drop videos like this and with that said and done i'm going to wish you good luck and we are going to see you again in the next video hopefully thank you and have a nice day